Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashwat, a student studying in the IB program. And today, I'll be taking you through one of the browsers that I am daily driving called Sigma OS, and it is quite interesting. So let's get right into the video. Okay, let's first talk a bit about what Sigma OS actually is. So Sigma OS is trying to reimagine how you work on the internet. It does this by introducing elements like single key shortcuts, workspaces, and tabs being vertically aligned by default. And I've come to realize that these are quite useful when you have more than 10, 15 tabs in a working session. And the idea of the workspaces really helps to segment everything and makes it easier to find everything. Now, Sigma OS also has the benefit of being a WebKit browser. In case you don't know what WebKit browsers are, these are browsers built on the same engine that Safari is built on. So they're very efficient on Mac. So this means that you can work for long hours and not worry about your battery life depleting extremely quickly like they do on some Chromium browsers. So let's first start by taking a look at Sigma OS. Oh yes, and before I begin, I have to point out one particular thing. Sigma OS is currently only a Mac browser and they're planning to work on a Windows version as well. So by the time you're watching this, there may or may not be a Windows version. And the second thing is that Sigma OS does have a paid plan, but I'm not using that. I'm using the free plan. And that's more than sufficient. Three workspaces is more than sufficient for most work situations, whether it be like having a chill space or school space and let's say colleges. And in addition to that, in case you do require more of them, Sigma OS does have some particular options as well for that. So essentially, if you're a student, researcher, or a teacher, you get access to Sigma OS Pro for free because they'll give you credit for that. That is, if you're in school for one more year, they'll give you $100 of credit so you can get a Sigma OS premium subscription. So that's quite nice in case you require those features and fall into one of those categories. So when you start with Sigma OS and you have no tabs open, you have this very nice wallpaper given to you. And I think this is to do with the fact that Sigma OS treats your tabs as to-do tabs. Once you're done, you get treated with a reward, which is this pretty picturesque picture. I mean, I've never seen this in any of the other workspaces because I have not finished the tasks. But anyways, this is what you start with. Now, as I mentioned, Sigma OS uses only single key shortcuts. That means things like D, T, etc. But it all starts with the slash key. That's where the entire browser's integration comes. And this is where you have everything. So you have your quick searches, you have all of your commands. So you can start a new tweet, start new Notion documents, etc. And you have a lot of features open to you. Now, another thing is that in case you forget these shortcuts, like I did at the beginning of using this browser, you can just use C and they'll show you all of the features that they have, such as all of the commands that you will have to use. And they have toggles in case you need for split screen or whether you are want to expert mode because you're built different. So then you get access to all of those. And if you want to hide it, just see again. So let's start with how everything works in Sigma OS. I definitely not copy this before, but let's see that you have something like this. And again, we know that YouTube has single key shortcuts as well with T, J, K, and L. And this is one thing I like about Sigma OS because they thought about all of this. So essentially when you're in this, you can use either I, which is insert mode. So it means the shortcuts are deactivated and just highlights the page itself. And you have all of your shortcuts open. Or another thing is going into focus mode. This basically hides all elements and you just have your page over there. And if you want to change the preferences, all you have to do is option F and it'll automatically toggle the website shortcuts and just hide it after a second. So I find that really useful because it allows you to still use those website shortcuts, but also Sigma OS shortcuts whenever you require. So that's quite a useful feature. Let me just exit out of focus mode. And another thing that I really like about this browser is its split screen functionality. So split screen, if you know about it is like basically where you have two tabs side by side and with Chrome, you'd have to like remove it from that window then align it, everything. But Sigma OS makes it very easy. All you have to do is shift slash and you're good to go. You just have to open it and let's see that you just do some random search. You can see it automatically opens it like this and you have access to both sides and you can just resize it however you want with this middle toggle. So that's quite useful and that's something I really like because if you're doing like research work, you can have your Google Doc with all the points that you found along with the research on one side. And in case you ever feel the need to change it, you can just click this and you'll get stuff like this, which is a cheat sheet, your downloads, tags, reminders, and sending page to side. So in case you want to do those features, you get access to them. 
So that's quite useful. Another thing that I really like about Sigma OS was the focus mode that I showed you, because if you're really working on something and you just want to focus on that and not have these buttons at the top showing, just F, it goes back to a single thing, but once you do it, it automatically comes back to that. So it's quite useful. And the thing that I'm doing right now is just command slash, and that allows you to send a page to the side, which is quite useful. So these are stuff that I like about Sigma OS, but there are a few things which you may have particular issues with, which I also had issues with at the beginning of using this browser. Well, so before I move on to that, you saw that I have five workspaces here. The thing is quick searches and shared with me don't count in this, because they're temporary workspaces. So quick searches for anything, any random search that you have to do, which aren't related to your tasks in these workspaces. And shared with me basically means that if you have a link coming from a different thing, like let's say you have a link coming from WhatsApp, it'll open it in the shared with me section. So you can come back to it whenever you want. So it acts like an, as an in inbox as shown by the logo itself. So it's quite useful because it allows you to compartmentalize everything. So you can get to each thing whenever you require. Now let's get to the issues that I had with Sigma OS. So firstly is obviously the single key shortcuts. It takes a while getting used to it, but if you've wasted your childhood doing typing tests like me, then you get used to those shortcuts pretty quickly because you know where the keys are. But in case you do forget any of them, you have command K in order to do that. Or you also have the option that if you do an accidental wrong shortcut, it tells you what the actual shortcut is. So it guides you like that, so it's pretty useful in case you forget, just do the one that you're comfortable with. And in case it is one, well, you're lucky. And if you aren't correct with it, they'll tell you which shortcut it is, so you can easily do that. Now, another issue with it is that these single key shortcuts may have interfered with the website shortcuts. And in case you do forget to go into focus mode or insert mode, that can cause an issue. But I think like over a period of time, you know which websites have those shortcuts. So you're able to understand when to go into focus mode and when not to. So that's quite easy to get used to as well. And you don't have much issues adjusting to that. Now, another thing is that Sigma OS is trying to bring in all the Chromium extensions as well. So they're working on the extensions API and they are bringing them in. And I think now you can use most of these extensions as well. But the one thing is that some extension like Grammarly, it doesn't work in Google Docs. But that's a very minor issue and I think not very persistent to every single user, but they are working on that. So that's quite nice to hear. And I hope that does get fixed soon. And finally, coming to the last remarks, um, Sigma OS is an incredible browser. I've been using it over the past few months. And it has been an incredible browser to use. And I have seen how these single key shortcuts are helping me use a browser more efficiently and how they're helping to organize more stuff through the workspaces. And in addition to that, they also have a very active Slack community. So once you join Sigma OS, you are referred to the Slack community so you can join it, point out issues and everything. And the dev team is very open to hearing suggestions and fixing bugs and hearing about any bugs. So if you do download Sigma OS, be sure to join the Slack community so that you can report these bugs so they can start working on them. So that's it for this video. Sigma OS is a really good browser. You don't need a free plan. You can just use a free plan. You don't need a premium plan, sorry. And Sigma OS is a really revolutionary browser and pretty good to use over a period of time. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.